Have you ever had a narcissist promise to change? Have you ever had a toxic person tell you that all the things that you have talked to them about and that they're doing in the relationship that are incredibly hurtful and toxic say that they would change them? I know a lot of people really hold out hope that a narcissistic person will change. And I know that a lot of times narcissistic people will tell you they're going to change when in fact, well, let's just listen to this video and find out exactly what they actually do. My name is Lise Colucci and I'm here to help you understand and transform your life after you have been affected by narcissistic toxic relationships. So, okay, narcissist is hoovering you back, meaning they're trying to pull you back into their world. They're trying to get you back. They're trying to tell you that they've made all these changes or you're in the middle of the devalue and discard cycle and you're just at your wit's end and they say, okay, I'm going to change. I promise I'll go to therapy. I'll do this. I'll do that. Let's work on this. Okay. Doesn't always happen that they do this, but when they do, can they change? So the thing is, narcissistic people are famous for making promises and then not following through. It's future faking, right? This is kind of a form of future faking. They are taking this thing that you need the most and they're promising it to you because they're worried about losing your supply. They're worried about using, losing your attention, losing your focus, losing your giving to them in their life. So they're telling you that they want to make all these changes. But in fact, those are just empty promises. Those are just words to get you to calm down, drop your guard, and then be completely hooked back in to the toxic cycle with them. Narcissists need relationships with others because without you, there is no supply. There is no attention. There is no energy coming toward them, right? So they need you to be in their life, to be in relationship, and to be hovering and revolving around them. They need the whole world to focus on them. So their world, they need focus toward them. It's all about them. In this, and you're staying with them while they're really toxic to you, while they're gaslighting you, while they're devaluing you, they get a sense of your loyalty for them. That is how they see loyalty, that they can do whatever they want and the person stays. Sometimes when you're dealing with a vulnerable or covert narcissist, you will have the other mask, which is the vulnerable, the victim, the playing nice, the friendly, the everybody's friend, the good guy, good gal. Okay. And so it's really hard to see that this person won't change. The thing is they're putting on a mask. They're pretending to behave in a way that suits the mood to get the attention they want back. Does that make sense? Now, when that mask slips and they're upset or they're angry or they're feeling like they didn't get their way and they're needing to push their way and, and you know do all of that stuff and they are gaslighting you and devaluing you and hurting you, then there's that side of them. That's probably a little closer to the truth of how they actually feel in life. Not because of you, because that's how they feel and act in relationships. So when you have this going on, there's nothing to change. The only thing that can change is for that person to actually not be narcissistic, give a moment of care to you, your feelings, the, the feeling, the needs of the relationship, the needs of the other person. Well, that core thing isn't going to change. And the thing is, narcissists don't have the empathy it takes to be able to take accountability enough to make that change. When they have been awful to you, breaking you down and making you feel bad and criticizing and blame shifting and twisting words. Okay, you know what I'm talking about. And then they're suddenly nice. And it's giving you the sense of hope that that person can change, that they saw what they did wrong. They may not have apologized the way you needed them to, but at least they're being nice now, right? They must have seen how they, they hurt me and that's why they're being nice. No, what they're doing is playing on your empathy so that you will not continue to be upset with them for the thing you're upset with. Things can go back to status quo. They can maintain the power and then, you know, repeat. When you're upset with them, they have lost an ounce of power, right? When you're upset with them, they don't have the same power that they've had 
in the relationship in that moment. And they want to regain power so that they're in control of everything. And here's a really important point. The narcissistic person, when you take them back, when you are staying, knowing what they are, how they are, who they are, and they know you know it especially, the toxic abuse gets worse. The love bombing and mask on of happiness gets shorter. The duration of time that they spend pretending that they care about you decreases. And everything becomes about them protecting the ego to control the relationship and to control their world and the mask that they wear. So you guys, thumbs up. I will see you next time. Take care.